How much of this do you think actually is the Reddit community unto its or professionals effectively, I don't want to say taking advantage of the Reddit community, but riding on top of that momentum? You know, not too dissimilar from uh, what I told you all back in January, I, what this represents is just a secular shift in this intersection of community and capital. Uh, and so whether it's on platforms like Reddit or others, you know, retail investors have more connectedness, more information, more ability to trade than ever before. And this is going to be the new normal. And, you know, meme stocks, I, it, it, is, it is a charming name, but I think at the end of the day, you know, momentum investing is nothing new. Um, and really, you know, the existence of people getting whipped up and excited about a stock has happened, you know, it's happened at, around barbershops, it's happened around bars, you know, retail investors have just never been able to sort of jump on an opportunity in real time. And, and this is what it's like in the age of ubiquitous but, social but media. Here's the thing, and I know I'm, I'm going to get slaughtered on, on, on Reddit and Twitter for saying this. Mm -hmm. Momentum trading, day trading typically does not end well. Options mm -hmm. trading, this is not how people get rich. Uh, I mean, some people do, but most people don't. And so I just wonder in terms of how you think about that, how you think people who are on Reddit should think about it, and frankly, how regulators are ultimately gonna think about this. Because at some point, when you look at some of these things that are happening, and there is a, they are divorced from reality at this point. I think, you know, there are a lot of people who are doing their research. I think anyone doing any investing should absolutely be making, you know, sound financial decisions, doing the research, et cetera. Um, I just think the we, we've we've crossed the Rubicon and and it doesn't matter one platform or another. This is how people are sharing content. They're able to open an app, uh, you know, and, and execute a trade. And it's only going to get easier, right? It's only going to get more normal for a generation coming up with this. They don't have to, they're not even going to conceive of the idea of like calling a stockbroker or uh, for a lot of folks, you know, hiring a professional. And so I think we absolutely need more financial literacy. I think there's a lot of stuff that a lot of other people have talked about for many years, uh, and it's more true now than ever. But uh, the thing we have to keep in mind is, is this is here to stay. And, and to your earlier point, yes, I do think there are absolutely professional investors who are paying attention to these trends and uh, and you know putting dollars to work as well I'd, I'd be naive to say that that wasn't happening as well if you are gary gensler who runs the sec should you how should you think about this if this is toothpaste that's out of the tube what do you do i think you know there is a framework that that exists today uh and 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 ultimately you know we have as a responsibility to ourselves uh, this sort of personal responsibility to do our diligence to to be smart investors and you know i think uh, i don't know the ins and outs of of the sec's uh, sort of responsibilities around this obviously they they want to protect consumers but at the end of the day you know adults making adult decisions about what stocks to buy or sell is is really up to them um but uh but we'll see i guess the, the one thing i'm certain of is that this doesn't go away. And, and if anything, um, hopefully, I think these markets become more and more efficient because more and more people are educating themselves, are engaging in trading. And, and I, I hope we're all actually, I think, better off as a result. Uh, but this transition period is going to have some, some quite wild swings, that's for sure.